Okay, so didn't capture the fault, but I just got a fault for a pressure switch. Uh, slow flash. Slow flash on the green. Pressure switch open. Black inlet and exhaust. Condensate seat line block. So I went ahead and cycled the unit. That's a few years. So pretty easy one. That tells me more than likely condensate lines block. See if we can get this thing joining. Oh wow, that is on there strong. See if we can more than likely is probably gonna be blocked somewhere in here. off here no, nothing too crazy This whole is going to have to come out. They make those things solid. Probably gonna be the clog in these uh, ports here. I'm gonna try to blow this out, make sure this is clear as well. Let's see if we got anything to clear this line out. Some sediment on there. Cut this line real quick and see. It's 
backed up. I want this chat to be prime. Let's see here. Chances are gonna be a leak in that. Give it a shot. Sediment out. Not much, but there's some in there. Should be good.
So I'm just going to go ahead and prime this P-trap here. I should do it. I honestly think the issue was it just wasn't um, prime. There wasn't really much water at all in here. And this here, these drains were a little bit clogged up. These here. But I got it all emptied out. This, check this line, blew that clear. That wasn't anything clogged there. Blew all that clear. Blew up through here, none of that was clogged. So. Making sure the drain is properly draining, which it is. So it's been running for about 10 minutes. Got a steady drip on that drain. About to glue that line back. So yeah, it was more than likely. It was a combination. This was basically backed up, and the trap wasn't primed properly. So we're rocking now. Sometimes that happens when these furnaces sit for a little while. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty quick one, pretty easy one. As usual, let me know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.